The world peace cookie is, it is my favorite of all favorite cookies, in part because I was given the recipe by Pierre Hermé, the Paris pastry chef, and it just changed the way I looked at a cookie. The chopped pieces of chocolate, the way some of them melt and some don't, the fact that the cookie itself is a little chewy and a little sandy like a shortbread. I've never met anyone who doesn't love this cookie. All-purpose flour, I'm not a sifter. I really am a lazy baker. I don't love to sift. But this recipe has cocoa in it. And whenever there's cocoa or confectioner's sugar, you have to sift. And half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm sifting because it always has little lumps. Even if you were to mix it, mix it, mix it, you won't get the lumps out. Whenever you're sifting like that, you need to give your sifted ingredients a last whisk through just to blend them. One of the things that was revolutionary about this cookie 20 years ago was that you could really taste the salt. The salt was present. We take that for granted now, but it was really a big deal then. So I use unsalted butter so that I can control the amount of salt that goes in. And I'm using fine sea salt. One of the things that Pierre was thinking about when he first created this cookie was the American chocolate chip cookie. And so this has a mixture of both white granulated sugar and brown sugar, as the all-American chocolate chip cookie does. While Pierre was thinking about a chocolate chip cookie, what he was really basing this on was the French sablé, S-A-B-L-E, like that. Sablé means sandy, and it's a shortbread cookie. And it's probably the most popular cookie in the French repertoire. And this is so French and so sablé-ish, it doesn't have any eggs. But it does have vanilla, a little bit. So you have a nice smooth mix, but not a fluffy one. And I add the flour all at once. It's also good to cover the bowl so that you don't end up with cocoa on the tip of your nose. This dough looks really nice and it came together, it came to this point where it holds together very quickly. Sometimes it doesn't. And I think it depends on the cocoa powder. So just keep going. Now is a good time to put in the chocolate because you're gonna keep turning it. I have nothing against chocolate chips, comma, but I really think that in a good chocolate cookie, you want good chocolate. And so this is bar chocolate that's been chopped and you want, you want pieces of all different sizes. You want little pieces and bigger pieces because they're going to melt differently. And so it's, I love the surprise of a cookie where each bite is different. You don't know if you're going to get a lot of chocolate or a little bit of chocolate. And I think it adds to the interest of what is already an interesting cookie. A little pulsing just to get the chocolate into the mix. That's it. So it looks lumpy, it looks bumpy, it looks clumpy. I'm going to pull it together by hand. Every time I get a chance to touch dough, to really, to make something with my hands, it makes me happy. This batch makes enough for two logs of dough. So I'm going to eyeball what is half, let's say there. You just want to roll it into a sausage. I usually look for a log that's about eight inches 
a little bit longer than that, I think. I've decided this is nine inches. One day I'll measure it. After you've made this log, you want to make sure it's compact. Pull the paper over. Hold on to the bottom piece of paper. Slide your straight edge around the log. And now I'm pulling with the under paper and pushing the dough scraper in. So, right, just tighten it by pulling and pushing. And you get a nice smooth log. If I were going to be storing this for a while in the freezer, I probably would wrap them in plastic. But I'm going to tuck these into the refrigerator and the parchment will be fine. The log is nice and cold. Because there are no eggs and you've got sugar and cocoa, it's hard. There are two really important things about baking the World Peace cookie. One is the thickness of the cookie and the other is the temperature. These cookies are meant to be cut fat. So you want a half inch of dough. So. Sometimes when you're cutting, you get this. Kind of cracks or just squeeze it together. ready for the oven and the oven is set at 325 which is not the usual temperature for a chocolate chip cookie. It's really important to keep the temperature lower for these. If it's higher you'll still get a good tasting cookie but the texture will be different. You won't get that nice shortbread sandy texture that these are really meant to have and 12 minutes. I've always tried to find the right clue to say okay they're done and I really haven't. So 12 minutes, they won't feel done, but they will come together and become the world peace cookie that they're meant to be on the cooling rack. I've always loved cookies but because of baking through Joshua's childhood. I still bake for him and I bake for Linling, of course, but Linling bakes world peace cookies all by herself now. So the recipe has passed from Pierre Hermé to me, from me, to the next generation. And I love that. That's what a recipe should do. It should get passed along like that and enjoyed.